and it's Gordo here from Gordo's Games bringing you some Digimon TCG content and today I'm bringing you a deck profile from a deck that I've been playing a fair bit of at the moment uh, I haven't enjoyed the deck, it's doing a lot for me it's Red Ragma, it's an old faithful, it's an old 1.5 highlight um, the reason I'm playing the deck is that is because I've narrowed down my pool, uh, pool of decks so if you used before you know I'd have uh, multiple things made up I'd be trying to make all sorts of spice and just trying to trying to wing it as, uh, as much as I can and just trying to flex on different things since obviously all the news of the, the world championship and you know potential regionals and that coming up you know it, it's time to um, refine and, and improve myself as a player because I, I feel like um, yes I can adapt quite quickly to different decks which is great uh, which is great also for the conquest series that I'm doing with my team um, as you'll see in the little corner just there the legion market that comes up that's my team uh, legion it is for we are many um, so I adapt quite quickly so conquest matches are great because it allows you to change of decks and then just go from there adapt quickly to the situation but at the same time I, I need to spend time to actually learn the matchups better for decks I need to refine my play style my better my judgment calls and things like that so I've uh, narrowed down to four decks four colors um, which I, I, I'll play like week in week out so one blue deck, one red deck, one black deck, and one yellow. So I've got a yellow war grey, I've got a red Ragnar Lord, Imperial Jamon, and I have a black war grey OTK. So those are my four, I have stuck with those just to try and help gain some proficiency with the decks. So I'm going to go through red Ragnar because I've spent a lot of time in this deck at the moment and I really am enjoying it. Uh, it does exactly what it needs to do and it's a, yeah, people dislike the deck, say it's a very simplistic deck and obviously black one's better. I don't think the red one's just as good. Uh, yeah, the black can get obviously the security checks to go off with it because you have the red tie, you have the metal grey mine, you've got zoom gun punch. Um, but I'm quite per I'm quite forward towards the whole because I like I run I run the delicate plan. Uh, I like the, the safety of, of the delicate plan itself, and I think reds overall does the uh, multiple checks a lot better fashion. But we'll, we'll see we'll see how we get into it. So let's get to the profile. If you do like the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when this content goes live for you. Let's go. Alright, so here we are at the old faithful setup. So, first of all, big shout out. Nice new sleeves. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Um, I went a bit overboard, alright. I got the Captain Marvel one, so just a shout out to True Champ Steve. That's the one, that's where I actually found the sleeves. Um, so, big shout out there. Really like them. Um, good quality. I was a Marvel fan, as you can tell by the intro to these videos as well. There is a Marvel esque to it. Um, so yeah, I've got all out. So I've got Red Ragnar in Iron Man. Uh, I, I couldn't quite get the ha a holder some blue. A nice blue wants to go with Imperial. I was gonna get Captain America, but so that's sadly gone with the, it's gone with the Spider Man, which is I'll go with that. It's fine. Uh, black is in Black Panther. Yellow's in Captain Marvel. And yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm adding more of these as I go along. I might get a green deck, put in some cap uh, some incredible cool ones. Who knows? But in enough of me rambling about all my little new accessories and that, like it's relevant. You know, we'll just get to the net profile. So when I start off, nice and simple. Uh, eggs, you play five. You play four GG. Uh, GG inherently is one of the best red ones uh, because it's live a lot quicker than every other DP buff in red. And it's not it's got less criteria to it, whereas like Yokomon you have to swing into a body. This has to get five things in trash, which is usually pretty easy to do, especially if it gets to play against purple, it's live instantly, near enough. Uh, off the back of it we play one car run. Now I'll be honest, you can flex between however these however you want. It doesn't make a massive difference because you are in the process of building a uh, tower. Basically, that is your a you are literally building the tower and you're you're apparently you're putting yourself in your opponent in a position whereas Ragnar is going to be the relevant force, whereas you're, he's your blocker. And they can't get rid of it by swinging into it unless they suspend it somehow and then swing into it, but it's 14k, which is a big body to get over. So, let's say, for example, Green OTK, for instance, if they digiverse all their stuff swing, uh, they can't go through Ragnar. They'd have to go into a chaos, but then they'd have to crash because there's no DP buff there after the digiverse. So it slows down the gameplays and things like that. So. And otherwise, things like red have to guy force to get out of the way. Blue have to coit his breath, so it slows Imperial down. It's all around. I, I feel like the deck's strong. It's got a, a good characteristic to it because you don't have to run the level four blockers at a four of. You can go a two of, and then just drop in the Ragnar blockers. So towers are definitely a thing. So run five. You can flex on that however you see fit and whatever suits you best. 
Uh, let's go into the rookies. Now I think I did a change of lineup here. Where it is. One second. There we go. Um, where it is 14 rookies. I had 15 to begin with, but then I was like, I'm running the Zubius, so I don't really need it. So we'll start off simple. Uh, four Ogamon. Generically the best red rookie you'll see. Um, at the end of the day, a thousand DP buff on your turn. No other criteria except for it's an Aeris ball. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, we run four of the Searcher. I have seen people been cutting this out because they don't uh, they don't want to be just throwing this down all the time, but I just feel it adds the consistency to the deck. And sometimes you, how this deck works, you it's not just you can't just win Ragnar. You have to have a small body on the board. Now, I will state obviously yellow can be a problem because how how yellow clears out smaller bodies just for funsies, you know, warm up fuzzies. This can be a problem for Ragnar, and I'm still trying. I'm still just testing into that match, but I haven't done any hardcore testing as of yet. But basically how it works is you get Ragnar on board, swing through all the security or as much as possible. If you survive, or if you the rest of the board survives, you swing with a little thing to get to the final check. Um, and that generally works 9 times out of 10. But it all depends on how the security treats you. Um, so, we run 3 Beermon. Beermon's good card, allows you to gain 3 mana. map. Let me just sort the glare out here. For our apologies, daytime. So three beer beer mod, when you swing on your turn, if it's your turn and it's deleted, you gain a memory back. So it allows you to extend your turns a little bit. If you're if you've not got the tamer out and you're at two memory and you want to get to the, uh, the level six, then go for the Ragnar play. This can allow you to do so. And then we run three of the Monodramon. Two costs vanilla. Uh, not much more to say about it. It's just there for a, a cheap evo uh, with a cheap drop. So if you need to put your own opponent on one or something like that, you want to memory choke a bit, play that game. It's not a bad shout. Alright, it's so level 4 as we play 11. Once again, this is more of the. Um, I see a lot of variations in how these are built. Uh, I run 4 of the Greymon. The game plan is security attacks. Um, Zub is okay if you go up to level 7, but the fact is, and the reason why they think this deck's a lot stronger than it used to be now, is you want to go for aggression, not just at your 7, but at your 6, because you have a 12k body. On your level six, all of your level sixes in this one, that I run a 12k. So, if you've got at least one buff in there, you're at least a 13k base, which means you're only dying to a millennium one chaos mod, uh, to an omni mod. So only level seven. So if you're taking a level seven with you, that's one less level seven to deal with. So uh, security attack plus one, that'll do the job. Uh, we run four of the one cost Evo Dark Tyranno. Uh, reason being, it's one cost Evo. It's cheap. Uh, don't I used to I try playing with Fugamons three cost to play is not is not the worst thing in the world and obviously uh, I get the logic to it but after playing in the uh, the last Evo Cup Nidhogg is a problem Alter S is a problem being below the 5k threshold in a lot of situations and, and this going to next set I think it's gonna be a problem as well um, is a, is something you have to take into consideration that's why I think like Nidhogg and Alter S and that are going to be a problem come next set because red and blue get their one cost blockers. Speaking of blockers, we run two. Um, only run two because the fact of you need some sort of uh, early thing to stop their pressure whilst you're building your stack. So this is just like a little band aid early on. On this, more than like next set, we just swap to a couple of monochrome mod, uh, maybe three because I mean, we do play one of uh, Zuber Ego. Reason being, I know it seems pointless, it's just to add that potential consistency to it of the effect of the Zuba. It's got more targets. So I run four of the Zuba, one of this, four of the Doramon, and eight of the level sixes. So it's four, five, nine, seventeen, and then four Ragnar. There's 21 targets for Zuba to hit. So it's very, very little times it should ever win. And obviously, I would consider running more of this because it's a four cost drop, but I can't warrant it over this because of the fact of I, I you really do want the aggression for your level sixes where where you can because let's take for example yellow security. The only thing you have to worry about is chaos. That is that's it. Chaos is the only thing you need to worry about. So if I can run through them with a level six, take out majority of their security, go up into a Ragnar reboot, 
they've got to do they've got to go through a full full kind of lineup to get rid of it because War Growl into Slash can't kill Render. You have to go into the Chaos mod. Uh, or you have to do multiple lowers, and obviously Ragnar doesn't put you on a lot of, uh, lot of memory, but it's one of the three that you began with. So it's down to blind and ready to put it all the work in. That's that's my logic to it. Go to Fires Run 9. Uh, I run a 1 of Lava, 2 cost Evo. Uh, I've considered swapping this around a bit uh, with some other things just to kind of cheaper in my level 5 count. The fact is, once again, I feel it's tower building, and obviously the way to go about it. Second, and we run four Vulture Mop. I get a phone call mid thing. Hang on, one second. A few moments later. Time to do things yourself. So, as we said, four Ultramon. Um, that allows Madurumons to swing early. So, if you get this, you get this. That's Secure Attack plus two on a 12k, potentially 13k body. And then we run a four of Durumon. I was running three of, and then I bumped up one more. This could potentially just become this as a cheap kind of uh, Vixie just to try and scale up if I don't see my Tamers. So, as I said, run nine, all the fives there. Uh, level 6 is, I won't even bore you with the details, we run the full package, we run forward around one, gives piercing, it's really strong, does the job, it's got so much glare you can't see it, I'm going to put it there, there you go. Um, yeah, it's a really strong card, especially in this one because of the tie, it makes it live as well, so you can get security attack plus 3, where need be. And then we run 4 of the um, Briarweek Ludemon, which is blocker. This one is extremely good. This is this is the part that allows you to be a blocker. So really strong. So run eight there. Now Ragnar, don't feel you can run any less. Four. Really really strong card. Does a lot of work. Um, it is the keyword sponge. Now we run two time. I've considered trying to run this three because I think three is like the magic number. But realistically, I just can't find the space. Or I haven't tested with the space, should I say. So I run two off for now. And I, really, well, I was running two Gaia Forces, but the fact is, I didn't feel like Gaia Force helped my game plan as much as I'd like it to because, because it's a cheap and potentially a free Evo. Um, I, I felt like going with Delicate Plan as a two off. Two CC is still a thing, it's a very strong thing at the moment. Gaia Force and other things, coitus and things, there's the needle sprays, there's so many things in security that can cause issues. This is there to help stop that because my game plan is to swing through security and they basically I have a pierce for your board and ignore your board and just block it. So two delicate plans is the way I'll go about it. So that in itself is Red Ragnar. Let me know what your thoughts are, let me know if you are see you. anything you change, any suggestions you have by means and uh, as, as you already know don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when this content goes live for you. And uh, yeah, check out some of the games. I'm playing, I'm playing this in my Conquest game, so feel free to check it out. Catch you later. And from Gordo here, let's get it sorted, let's get going.